The path to success is comprised of many ideas. Ideas that uh, inspire you to do something different in your business or to behave differently in your life. And as a result of behaving differently or acting differently uh, or implementing some new concept, uh, your life, your business, your life changes. Um, and a lot of these ideas actually come from within you. Um, yes, sometimes you read ideas, you hear ideas, but a lot of them actually just kind of come to you from out of the blue when it oftentimes in the, in the times when you're least expecting it. You're out on a walk. You're, you know, watching something. You are working on an entirely different project and you have this idea about something else. Now, my question to you is, what do you do with those ideas? Do you at least capture them? Do you write them down? And that's what I want to talk with you about in this short video. I've been doing this practice for more than 15 years. This, I, this practice of writing down most of the ideas that occur to me. Now, it's not that I write down every thought. Of course not. But ideas that, that say, oh, this could be something I do in my business. I write it down. And sometimes they're not always good ideas. Many times they're not good ideas. But they're, out of every 10 ideas I write down, inevitably several of them are ideas that I'm grateful that I wrote down. Because have you noticed that if you don't write it down, chances are you'll forget them. Now, they may reoccur to you some later you know, months from now or years from now but, but, or days from now sometimes. But if you write it down, you know that you've captured it and you won't, um, you won't waste that thought. And so when you, once you write it down, the nice thing is you can then evaluate it at a later time. Maybe at the end of the week or um, at the end of the day, whenever you organize your ideas. Or once you write it down, you, and then at the end of the day, you're, you're um, kind of clearing your to-do list. You can put each idea in its rightful place in the right folder or right document about whatever project it's, it's, it's working on. And then when you work on that project, say once a week when you work on that project, you pull out those ideas that you've written down about that project. And you can then evaluate it then because distance provides perspective. And so when you have an idea, you have it, you, you, oftentimes when the idea first comes to you, right, it's an aha moment. So you think, oh, it must be a great idea. But it's important to write it down, evaluate it later because distance provides perspective. Now, so I, I, um, how do you capture ideas? I want to share with you a couple of ways. One way is to use, um, one of those small wire-bound notebooks, maybe has a 50 to 100 sheets of paper. You can get this at a stationery store or like a, like a drugstore, supermarket, a little wire-bound notebook, and keep a small pencil or pen with you in, in, with that notebook and just carry it around with you everywhere, especially when you're out walking. Ideas will come to you uh, or wherever you're working on some project and an idea about another project, write it down. Um, you could also use a voice memo on your phone or your, yeah, your voice memo on your, on your uh, phone. Or what I do now is I use an iPhone and I use the app called Wonderlist, uh, W-U-N-D-E-R-L-I-S-T. So the key I want to leave you with is the more you respect your ideas by writing them down, the more your inner self will respect you by giving you more ideas. I grew up being really shy and what I felt, uh, I felt like I was dumber than other kids. I didn't have as many thoughts or ideas. And I think through this practice of writing ideas down over decades now, um, I, my sense is that I have more kind of creativity and ideas than probably many people my age. So I really encourage you to respect your ideas and write them down.